seems the Fed is just waiting and looking for that recession to happen. Thank you for coming back to my channel and yet another mortgage rate update for the first week of January. Today is January 6th. Um, thank you again for coming to stop by my channel. Hit that follow button if you haven't before and like this if, the, if, this, if this brings any value to you today. Uh, going over where, where rates are at to start the year in 2023, off to a good start. Um, I can show you here in the first graph uh, as soon as I pull this up. So as you can see, um, green is good, red is uh, bad. We've had very, very good traction since November. And even today, we had a big big spike in green, which obviously means rates are going down for mortgage-backed security's sake. But we are back to a place where we were in Decem on December 15th. Um, we broke above a 100-day moving average, and there was no stopping us uh, on any other moving averages or other Fibonacci levels. So it was great to see, um, but let it, let's get back over here. So I'm going to kind of go over the key components that happened this week, um, talking about how what caused rates to move, um, and we'll kind of just dive in. So I'll talk about a few factors, including we have moving markets around the world. Uh, we Germany had inflation numbers come in lower than expected. I believe it came in at under, what was it, just under 2% or at 2% lower than expected, which was great to see, showing that inflation is getting tamed in other places around the world. This is not just a U.S. thing, obviously specific for mortgage rates. We want it to be um, we, we think about us first, but inflation's everywhere. We were worried about a global recession and we're going to see what goes on. But if inflation is coming down, that is super ideal to see. And hopefully there are no larger ramifications down the road. And we see, I saw an article come out that said slow session versus recession. So that would be amazing to see. Um, another appreciation forecast core logic came out and noted that they expect a 3% appreciation rate on homes, uh, for all of 2023. Not specific to rate mortgage rates, but it's just a housing market um, piece of info that shows, you know, to talk, talking to any buyers out there, hey, we're still expecting 3% uh, increase. On a $500,000 home, that's $15,000. I'll take an extra $15,000 a year. Um, amazing to see that we're at least still getting good forecasts. Never a bad time to buy real estate, but now we have the stats to back that up. Um, the Fed, like I alluded to the, at the beginning, the Fed minutes is kind of a debrief of what they talked about at the last Fed meeting. Um, it's kind of a kind of a little different tone they have uh, reading here. They are kind of wanting people blatantly to lose their jobs before you know to help bring down inflation. We have a weird situation where they had, these corporations had these large profit margins all year, and they took it or all in the last two years and took advantage of supply chains. The well, problem is those profit margins helped with inflation. Those same companies will probably end up laying people off in the recession. So it's kind of like they're just corporations are hurting us more than us printing money in 2020. Um, but ultimately, the Fed is kind of wanting more people to lose their jobs, unemployment rate to 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 increase us go into that recession before they really start to put the halt on the Fed rate. We are expecting to see a Fed rate come in lower than we ever have at 25 basis points or 0.25%. Um, that's the lowest they would increase. And we're expecting most likely three of those um, increases in the first three meetings. But all of this, despite our money supply is dropping and we have declining rates. So it's kind of confusing from the Fed, but if that's what they want, that's what we're going to have to deal with. Um, and then going on the employment report that came uh, to kind of go along with this, there were 235 job creations in the month of December, which unfortunately was more than expected. So that's not good when we're when the Fed wants less jobs and we're adding more. It's only going to delay things. Um, so who knows when we'll actually feel recession like uh, atmos an atmosphere. And then lastly, something to look forward to next week, we have the consumer price index coming out. Again, one of the Fed's favorite indicators for inflation. Um, ultimately, we are wanting to see it come in lower than expected. Something to think about is there was a lot of the spending in December with the holidays. Um, so we'll see how this first reading comes in. Uh, see how it, you know, see how it, what the number is. Um, hopefully, it's a good one. I just want to start 2023 on the right track. Um, uh, if you're on my email, you'll see where rates are sitting, um, and you can compare them back to the end of 2022. Um, but with that, that is my mortgage rate and housing market news uh, update for January 6th, the first week of January. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day.